Yuri Gagarin was the first human to go into space. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first to land on the moon, but none of them can claim to be the first hominid in space. That record lies with a chimpanzee named Ham who was sent to space on January 31, 1961, just 10 days before the Soviets sent the first astronaut to space. This is Ham's story. Both chimps and humans are hominids, and that humans share more DNA with chimpanzees than any other animal meant that they were much more closely related, and hence chosen for the task. Ham was born in July 1957 in French Cameroon. He was captured by animal trappers and sent to the rare bird farm in Miami, Florida. He was purchased by the United States Air Force at the age of two and brought to the Holloman Air Force Base in July 1959. There were originally 40 candidates for the flight, out of whom 18 were selected and ultimately got shortlisted to 6, including Ham. He was merely known as number 65 at that point. The 6 chimps were flown to Cape Canaveral in Florida to prepare for an experimental flight. The purpose of this mission was to provide a check of the craft's environmental control and recovery systems and as the first test of the functioning of life support systems in zero gravity. On January 31, 1961, Ham was propelled into space. He experienced weightlessness for around six and a half minutes during his 16 and a half minute flight. Even though there was a partial loss of air pressure, there was no damage done as he remained encased in his pressurized capsule. The lever pulling exercise was also a success as Ham performed only mildly slower than how he had during training. This success was significant as it showed that human beings too could perform physical tasks while out in space. After the flight, Ham's capsule splashed 130 miles from its target and began taking on water. It took several hours for a recovery ship to reach Ham, but miraculously he was alive and relatively calm considering his ordeal. When he was finally released from the capsule, his face bore an enormous grin which was interpreted as happy smile by many people. But Ham's expression was one of extreme fear and anxiety. That fear was demonstrated again sometime later through an act of defiance. Photographers wanted another shot of him in the capsule, but the terrified chimpanzee refused to get back into it and multiple adult men were unable to force him to do so. Number 65 was renamed to Ham only upon his successful return to Earth. This was reportedly because officials didn't want bad press that would come from the death of a named chimpanzee if the mission was a failure. Unlike the rest of space chimps, Ham was spared decades of biomedical research, but he did have a lonely existence for many years. He was transferred to the National Zoo in 1963, where he lived alone for 17 years before finally being sent to North Carolina Zoo, where he could live with other chimps. He died 22 years after his historic flight into space on January 18, 1983 at the estimated age of 26. Ham's flight is remarkable for many reasons. He not only survived the flight but performed his tasks correctly despite the rigors of space flight and the fear that he must have experienced. Thank you for watching and if you found the video interesting, hit the like button and consider subscribing to Seanvolution for more such content.